what is going on everyone welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing things a little different here on the channel we're going to be talking about budget bow sights so if you are looking to upgrade your site to something that gives you the ability to shoot longer range uh, without breaking the bank, then this is definitely gonna be a video that you guys wanna tune into. Uh, we will talk about the price point on every single one of these sites. We will talk about the features. Uh, and then also I wanna talk about what makes these sites unique when compared to one another. Now, starting with the CBE, um, I was actually pretty impressed with this site when I picked it up. It does have a lot of the same features that I would expect from a high-end bow site. Um, it does give you the ability to have a micro adjust on the windage uh, but your elevation is not a micro adjust because it does utilize uh, what CBE calls their gain adjustment rail which you're basically going to crack these two set screws and then slide that scope housing up and down now the nice thing about that is it does give you the ability to maximize the amount of arrow clearance because you're going to adjust your slide rail all the way to the top and then move the scope housing up and down to figure out where your home base or your 20 yard pin is going to be now this site is available in a three pin horizontal or you can pick it up in a single pin site uh, and then you can also customize whether or not you want a 10 thousandths pin or a 19 thousandths pin now with this site what i really like about it is it does utilize a roller wheel where some of the other sites on the table actually use a slide system now one thing i do want to mention is you do not have uh, at least on the horizontal site you do not have three pin indicators on your site tape uh, you will only be able to pick one pin that's going to be your floater uh, but you will be able to decide if you want your top middle or bottom pin uh, as that floating pin now what's nice about the cbe site is it does come with pre-printed site tapes all the way out to 100 yards so depending on your your bow setup and your arrow configuration you will be able to really extend the distance on this um, and another really nice thing about cbe products in general is they seem to always include a light kit with their site so if your state allows it it is already provided it's not an additional expense uh, typically when companies sell a light as an accessory you're going to pay anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks and obviously that's in addition to the overall cost of the site now with the CBE it's an ambidextrous sight so you'll be able to swap this if you're a right-handed or left-handed shooter uh, but it is only available in a direct mount it is not available in a dovetail series but definitely a solid option for a hunting site or anything that you you're looking to shoot long range with uh, the one downside to budget sites on this particular site you only have a second access so obviously if you're taking this out to attack event and you're shooting uphill or downhill you could definitely expect to see some left to right misses being that you lack that third access adjustment now this site is available for $139.99 and it is made in China. Now moving over to the next site that we have here on the table, this is the Trophy Ridge Attack Pro. Uh, this site is available in, in the Pro Series, which I have here, and then it's also available in a Standard Series. Uh, the difference between the two is the Pro is only available in a right-handed, so for you lefties out there, you will have to go with the Standard option. The only downside to the Standard option is you do lose the micro adjust on the windage and elevation that you get with this Pro Series. Um, Obviously, this site does utilize a slide rail or a slide system versus a roller wheel. But like I said, it does give you the ability to have micro adjust on your windage and then micro adjust on your elevation. So again, with this site, you'll be able to run it at the very bottom of the adjustment range and then dial in your 20. And that's going to ensure that you get the maximum amount of arrow clearance. It's giving you that dead stop. So if you have to make any adjustments in the dark, you'll know when you're at your home base. Now this site is only available in a 19 thousandths pin and it is only available in a single pin configuration uh, but what makes this site unique when compared to some of the others is it does give you the ability to play around with the pin configuration so right now it's set up in a vertical but if you wanted to run it in a horizontal you could run it off the right side of the scope housing or the left or you could even run it off the very top of the scope housing and have that pin coming down which will kind of help open up your site picture a little bit uh, personally it's not something that i would play around with i would just run it the way that it is 
Uh, and then also kind of like an overlooked feature of this site is the pin post is clear versus like black, which is pretty standard across all vertical pins. It just definitely makes it a little bit easier to kind of see through uh, that pin post so you have a better visual of your target. Now, the one downside to the Attack Pro and also the Attack Standard is that it does not come with a pre-printed sight tape. Um, so you'll have to actually sight in every single yardage mark on that sight tape that you put on here. They're only offering you a blank sight tape. So again, you'll have to go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, or as far as you're comfortable to shoot. If you're looking for just a hunting sight that gives you the ability to adjust from say 30 to 60, then it would definitely be a good option to check out. Uh, this one also comes with a light kit provided it's actually already pre-installed so again you don't have that additional expense by going out and buying it separately uh, and then the only other thing that I wanted to mention about this site and it's the same as the CBE is you do not have the ability to adjust your first or third access you're only actually getting a second access adjustment now this site is coming in at $139.99 same as the CBE and this site is also manufactured in China now the next site that I wanna talk about is one that has actually been around for a really long time. This site has won numerous awards over the years uh, since it's been released, and this is the HHA Optimizer Light X. Now, as you can see, this site does utilize a slide to make your, your elevation adjustment when you're shooting longer distances. Uh, it does not have a roller wheel like the CBE. Um, as you can see, this site is actually set up for a left-handed shooter, but it is also available for a right-handed shooter. Now, what's nice about this site is it does give you by far more customizations than the CBE or the Trophy Ridge. Uh, it is only available in a single pin, but you can decide if you want to go with a 10,000, a 19,000, or a 29,000th pin, uh, which is something that I've actually never seen through a manufacturer. I didn't realize that they offered pins that big. But if you have old eyes or you struggle in low light situations, obviously that 29,000th pin is gonna be a big benefit for you. Uh, you also have the ability to customize the scope housing size. You can choose from an inch and five eighths or an inch and three quarters, which is gonna help just ensure that you're getting proper peep alignment. Now this site is micro adjust and that, that adjustment is tool you just have this lever right here that you crack on the front very similar to the HHA rise the original one and then from there you can go ahead and make your windage adjustment now for the elevation it's similar to the other HHA sites where they use what they call their infinite adjust elevation rail. So you'll just slide the scope housing up and down to figure out where your 20 yard mark is. And again, very similar to the other two sites. What's nice about that is it does ensure that you're getting the maximum amount of arrow clearance. Now, uh, the sight tapes on the HHA Optimizer Light X do go all the way out to 80 yards. Uh, so you are, lim you are a little limited there, uh, but again, it will give you the ability to extend extend your distance and shoot some of those longer ranges. Now with this site, it does not come with a first access adjustment. And that's across the board on all HHA sites, even their top end. Uh, you will have the ability to adjust the second access, but what's really nice about this site is you can buy their second, third access adjustment bracket add this to the site and then you'll be able to dial in your third access. Um, and this site's coming in at $159.99. It is made in America, so it is expected that the price point's gonna be a little bit higher. Uh, but even with adding that, that third access adjustment bracket, you'll still be under that $200 range for a site that's really gonna allow you, again, to extend those distances and then you don't have to worry about any left to right misses if you're gonna run this out at a total archery challenge event. Now, the next site that I wanna talk about is one that is definitely outside the price range of the three previous ones that we talked about, uh, but this site does have a lot of features that I expect to see on a very high-end site, like the UV slider, the dial dark source, or the HHA Rise. Um, this site is actually a Black Gold Ascent Verdict. I personally ran this site for three years. Big fan of Black Gold sites. I think they do things very well. Uh, but with the, the Black Gold Ascent Verdict, um, you do not have have micro adjust on your windage or your elevation, uh, but it does give you the ability to set it up to where you have a zero stop. We've kind of talked about it numerous times now, uh, but that is going to allow you to maximize your arrow clearance. It's also nice when you're making any type of adjustment.
adjustments in the dark. Uh, you can see that this one does utilize a roller wheel on the side. Uh, your sight tapes are going to go all the way out to 100 yards. Actually, you can even go to an aftermarket company called Gunstar, and they have sight tapes that work on black gold uh, that go all the way out to, I think, like 130, 140, possibly, depending on your bow speed. What's nice about this sight is it does have a lock and then it also gives you the ability to swap out the bracket so if you're changing bow manufacturers over the years uh, you can go from a direct mount to a dovetail or a picatinny rail mount you don't have to go and buy a brand new site now standard when you buy this it is a three pin horizontal um, you can see here that i have this set up as a single pin option this is actually uh, the site that is off of my wife's bow currently uh, black gold is awesome for having super bright pins they have their auto dim type technology on uh, their their fibers so as you go out into sunlight you'll see this thing turn purple which will reduce that pin glow and then when you're in an area that's heavily shaded it'll just be clear like you see it now and that's allowing the optimal amount of light to come in and hit that pin now what's nice about this is obviously with this scope housing being a single pin they do give you the option to change out from a horizontal to the single pin uh, and then they also give you the ability to customize your pin size so you can go from a 19 thousandths to a 10 thousand or you can custom order it and have your two top at a 19 thousand your bottom at a 10 thousand or you could order a single pin and just a, a 10 thousandths or a 19 thousand so you do have a lot of options and what really kind of elevates this site above the others on the table is that you do have a first second and third axis adjustment so if that is an option that you're looking for uh, then like i said you can get into this and you don't have to spend um, top dollar like like 600, 500, 450 dollars, you can still get into a really nice site for still a reasonable price point. Now the price point on this site, like I said, it is above the price scale of the three that we previous talked about. Uh, this one is coming in at 279, but I wanted to throw this site in there because if you compare it to some of the other high-end sites that offer the same features, you are still in that budget price point in my opinion. Um, these sites are available at Sunrise Archery, so if you guys want to go and check them out you live in the southeastern michigan area you can go up to sunrise get your hands on these see if it's going to be a site that's going to work out for you uh, if you guys have any other questions you know that you can leave me a comment below i'm always happy to help you can always reach out to me directly on instagram uh, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel please do so your guys support greatly helps us out keeps us doing what we're doing and until next time stay safe stay healthy we'll see you on the next one